Hey, it's Jeffrey Gurian here for Comedy Matters TV on the Be Terrific Network. And I'm here in Montreal on the red carpet for the Just for Laughs Awards. Uh, it's, a, it's a celebrity packed event. We're hoping to talk to Jim Carrey and Trevor Noah and Mike Birbiglia. Ali Wong is here, uh, Natasha Legero, Judd Apatow. Uh, we hope to talk to all of them. So stick around and see what happens right here on Comedy Matters TV. Jeffrey Gurian, man, from Comedy Matters TV. Nice Good to meet you. You too. Yeah, yeah. You too. So awesome. I was at the panel last night. I was so impressed. First of all, you were so gracious. Yeah, I want to be here. It was it, a beautiful it, night. Yeah. Well, it's an amazing show. I'm dying up here. And were you performing at the, in those days at the, at the store? I came to the store in 1979. And uh, so I caught the uh, kind of the, the tail end of that era. I knew all those guys and, uh, you know, I was hanging out with Robin and Richard Pryor and Eddie Murphy and all the guys that were around back then. And uh, so I've kind of got the best of all worlds, you know. I spanned a lot of years there and uh, saw a lot of eras change. Did you ever do any of the New York clubs? Yeah. Yeah, it was one of the first things I did. I went down and I played the improv, and I played catch and uh, and uh, the comic strip. You did the strip? Oh, sure. Uh, I did the book on the comic strip with Chris Rock and, and about Jerry Seinfeld yeah. and Ray Romano, all the people that came out of the strip. Great place, great people, amazing happening. But we were lucky enough to be part of something that was a true happening. It really was. And you knew it. You felt it. You know, it was electric in there. And it's getting that way again, man. You go down to the comedy store, you go to the improv, man, there's... and, and I, you know, probably because there's so much political strife, there's so much, you know, confusion and, and oddness going on that uh, you really, you know, it really brings comedy to life. You know, it really, we are, we're the last uh, line of defense. Absolutely. It's bullshit. <laughs> you, and you told such great stories last night, but you said one thing that really struck me. They asked you if you were going to go back to stand up, and you said something about there's no Jim Carrey to sell anymore. Could you explain to me what you meant by that? I wrote it because it really stuck with me. It really resonated with me. Well, I think that it resonates because it's the truth of everybody, you know? We spend our whole lives trying to invent ourselves and trying to figure out, you know, what this is, you know? And it's, and it's just a collection of abstract ideas, you know? From your, your ethnic background to your nationality to your, you know, whatever, all of that stuff, those are all ideas you've been given. Exactly. You know, and so when you end up at the end of it, you, you might be successful, but you're unhappy and you don't know why because, oh, this thing didn't work. This is not a, this is not a real thing. It's something I cobbled together. And, uh, and uh, well, then what is the real thing? And the real thing is everything. It's so interesting that you said that. The only reason that you're Jim Carrey is because your parents called you that. You could have been anybody. Exactly. I always think about that about myself. Yeah. I'm Jeffrey Gurian because my parents chose that name. I'm DNA, I'm a bunch of cells, man. Yeah, and Jeffrey means go eat him up. <laughs> so Jeffrey cool. Jeffrey means make us look good, <laughs> right? It, incredible, it's just incredible. So it was so good I to meet you. Oh, okay, thanks, Thank man, you, it was though. good to meet you. All right, you too. Uh, congratulations. Right. Hey guys, thanks for watching Comedy Matters TV. To check out some of our other videos, click on the boxes on either side of me. And don't forget to like, Comment and subscribe, not just for me, but for my parents.